Forgive as God forgives you. Don't keep score. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Joe Stoll. At his son's wedding reception, Bob offered advice and encouragement to the newlyweds. In his speech, he told of a football coach in a nearby town who, when his team lost a game, kept a losing score on the scoreboard all week to remind the team of their failure. While that may be a good football strategy, Bob wisely advised it's a terrible strategy in marriage. When your spouse upsets you or fails you in some way, don't keep drawing attention to the failure. Turn off the scoreboard. What great advice! Scripture is full of commands for us to love each other and overlook faults. We are reminded in 1 Corinthians 13.5 that love keeps no record of wrongs, and in Ephesians 4.32 that we should be ready to forgive one another just as in Christ God forgave you. Joe continues, I am deeply grateful that God turns off the scoreboard when I fail. He doesn't simply forgive when we repent. He removes our sin as far as the east is from the west. With God, forgiveness means that our sin is out of sight and out of mind. May He give us grace to extend forgiveness to those around us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25-32. through 32. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. That's today's scripture reading from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 through 32. Let's pray now. Lord, thank you for not holding our sins against us and for granting us second chances. Help us today to forgive others, just as you have so freely forgiven each of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.